else are you trying to tie for an ankle for your family on Saturday? Uh, I think around about 70 is, <laughs> is the number that we're going for. So it should be pretty easy to get. I mean, every teammate I've had so far has given me four tickets, so it shouldn't be that bad. What number are you at now? Um, last time I checked, it was 28. But today it's going to go up. Yeah, today it'll be up. When you're one of the only guys from yeah, it's that pretty easy. It's pretty easy. I mean, there's some families that travel, you know, but for the most part, you yeah, there's the four tickets. You've seen how the in-state guys approach the Clemson game. Are you that way with this game? Uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, it's always good to go home, you know, and play in front of the family and friends. But it is Mizzou, and that's my home team, so it's, it's fun playing against those guys. When you went home last year, was it kind of <coughs> nice to have bragging rights? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's always nice to – I had some teammates that uh, played there and some – some friends that play there, so it's always fun to talk trash to those guys. You had a weird history, just you individually against Missouri, ups and downs, yeah. uh, with injury, you know, starting and getting hurt. And obviously, the big catch last year. Yep. How do you view kind of just your individual performance in this game? Why do you think it's been so kind of unique? Yeah, I don't know. It seems something always happens against Mizzou for me. You know, I had my first career catch against Mizzou my freshman year, and then sophomore or junior year, I got I got hurt against them. And last year, you know, I had a catch. So. Uh, I don't know. It's just always something always seems to happen against Mizzou, and that's that's it's it's fun to happen. You what know. Do you, what do you remember from last year's game when people bring that up? I just remember that big storm, and uh, I mean it's a game that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. You know, and uh, to make that play and to ultimately win that game, it's it's a good memory to have. Were they in on you on the recruiting process? Uh, <clears throat> they were a little bit early, but uh, they said I didn't fit the offense, so they moved on. How do you think you would have fit the offense? I think it was more of like a spread wide receiver type offense for a tight end. So, do you personally think you would have fit in there? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I originally I, I wanted to. Doesn't this crowd here run the spread? Yeah, they do. But I mean, we do a little bit of both. And uh, I don't know. I think I could have. You know, I mean, I could have made it work. But I kind of moved on when they moved on too. So. I know it's been four. Was Missouri your childhood team? Were you a Missouri fan? Missouri fan? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Growing up, uh, when they were in the Big 12, I liked them a lot. When they played Kansas and stuff, but uh, I liked Iowa a lot too. So, if they had offered you, would you have gone there? If they had pursued you hard, do you think? I would have definitely looked into it. But uh, there were some other schools that probably were better options, like South Carolina. So, and what was it about South Carolina that turned you on initially? Um, Spur was one of them, and then uh, they did a lot of two tight end sets, a lot of inline tight end sets, and I just. Um, like the like the offense, like the atmosphere at the games, and uh, that ultimately led me here. Okay, I know it's been four years, but at first when you were coming out, did you have a chip on your shoulder, maybe because you know in state at least get a uh, get an yeah for sure yeah it's it's it always kind of fired me up to be able to play those guys, but uh, you know I've had good luck against some three wins, so I'm happy to be here now. How has your family gone from being maybe Mizzou fans to? The game yeah, they, they believe black and garden garnet now, and they, they hate Mizzou just as much as I do. So, <laughs> did you grow up? Did, did you grow up with them all in black and gold? No, nah, I mean, Mizzou was never a huge part of our family. My uncle played at Iowa, so um, Iowa was always like the main school that we cheered for. But uh, a lot of friends when I grew up cheered for Mizzou. I'd go to Mizzou games with them, so. I assume your family was garnet black back home. What's it like? Have they been out in the community, you know, at the grocery store or something, and they get some looks? Yeah, man, they love it. They they, they probably love it more than I do, you know. Um, they're, they're always tweeting and and wearing the black and garnet. They got black and garnet stickers on their cars and flags up in the up in the front yard. So they, they love it, and they're, they're enjoying it. You're one of the few, I think, Missouri guys on an SEC team, not Mizzou. I mean, there's yeah. only like five in the entire league. Did you think when the – when Missouri joined the SEC, that that recruiting footprint would go get more guys out of maybe St. Louis and some of those talent-rich areas. Are you a little surprised that there's not more? Yeah, the, um, I think it is. Earlier on, when when I was being recruited, there wasn't a lot of big-time recruits coming out of St. Louis. But I think now um, you're starting to see guys going to schools like not SEC schools, but I think they're they're going into St. Louis more to recruit those players. Does Missouri feel like an SEC school still? Is that still weird? Uh, I think it, it was weird originally, but now they've 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 made their mark in there. So, and you guys went back and watched the footage against yeah. Alabama. What are some of the things that you guys have to do in order to correct those mistakes this week? Um, just get out there in the practice field and, and not do those same mistakes. I mean, it's easier. I mean, it's pretty cliche to say, but just correct those mistakes that we made. And and Mizzou's 
pretty similar to Alabama, but they, they do a lot of moving around uh, up front, and Alabama was more a uh, two-gap team, so you got to be able to adjust uh, to movement and that sort of thing. How big a deal do you all think this game is going into this week? Uh, it's a huge game. It's, big, it's first SEC East game, so um, it's we got we got to win the East, so that's our, that's our goal, and that's the first step to it. What were your expectations for yourself coming into this year? It was a, it was a crowded tight end room at one point. Yeah. Um, I was gonna uh, have my role that you know that I've had the last couple of years, uh, but that kind of changed quickly with you know Kale going down and and Evan going down, and um, it changed quick, and I had to adjust, and um, I'm I'm happy how it's how it's going so far.